So that's gang, what's up my Grubhub gang, this is your boy Kingfish aka Big Owl coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do family. Hope everybody's doing well. We don't have an order yet family, but we're going to get us some damn coffee. Alright guys, today is Friday, Forgiveness Friday. Alright. Today is the day, family, that we all get together. We either forgive somebody or we ask somebody to forgive us. I'm serious. I don't know which one I'm going to do today. This car don't get through this gate. It's an automatic gate and they're having a hard time getting over. There you go, girl. She might have to forgive me. Right. So on this beautiful Friday, man, it is nice out right now. Apologize, family. I thought I was gonna be live for a little longer than what I was. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way. My camera got hot because it sit right there in the, you know where it sit in the mirror, in the window, and it got hot. Stop recording. So I'm gonna buy one of them camera shields that protects it from the sun. And just don't let the phone heat up as quick as possible. I should have came out the back, man. Right? Yeah, the day is Darius Davis Day. Forgive me Friday, man. Forgiveness Friday. Did okay yesterday. I didn't do as bad as I thought I was gonna do. Oh, school bus. Don't wanna get behind no school bus. That's for sure. But this Friday, Saturday, ah, a little, 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 little. Remix. This Saturday podcast, guys, I told you we're going to debate about this album. I need a Baker and uh, Luther, 1986 album. but don't break. Stop, man, with all the information, man. You messing up a podcast player? <laughs> so that was a good album for both of them. So you can look it up, family. See what this song I'm talking about. And then we're gonna debate about it. I'm gonna play a song from each. I'm gonna play, you know, each song from each what's called. Y'all let me know what you think. I love some Luther, but I just think Aretha got him that year. Anita got him, I said Aretha. I meant to say Anita. But Anita got him. Hey, Tracy, I got your email. I just haven't did anything yet. I've been busy, baby girl. I'm going to get that shirt out to you this weekend. Everybody want the um, Thank for Tuesday shirt. Nobody want the hell no, and um, I don't give a damn shirt. <laughs> no, I was just kidding. <laughs> I, I hope I got your size. God, brother, you got a hot shirt, man. Yeah, I got to get to this Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. I'm on my way to pick up the wifey. But we, we are on the clock. So hopefully we get orders in between. We are on the clock, family. I'm still searching for the best jerk in Tampa. Haven't found it yet. Did find one place that I went to. I went to this. Uh, oh, gee. She cussing at somebody. Ooh, she hot. Hey, you want to switch? 
You want to switch? I take yours, you take mine? No, I'm you, man. I, I, I had one of those when it first came out. I had 2003. Love it. Cars, aren't they? Yeah, man, love it. I'm a big Z fan. I've, yeah. had, I've had uh, some going all the way back to like 1980. Yeah. I love the old uh, 280ZX. Yeah, me too. That, those are my, that was my jam back yeah. then, man. When I, when I bought mine, um, I, I, I had so much fun with it, then the family got big, I, I ended up selling. Mm -hmm. yep. I totally get that, man. Now I need a Porsche with four doors. <laughs> <laughs> At least they make them now. What, what, Back what, in the day, they didn't make them. Yeah. Stuff. Wouldn't it be nice if they came out with a four-door Z? You have to get yourself like a G37 because it has a Z engine and yeah. a Z transmission. All right, man. Enjoy That's your day. Thing, All right, man. I mean, cruising in that, that, that uh, convertible Z. Yeah, man. I love my Z, man. When I got my Z back in the day, man, my son messed it up for me, man. We went to a car show, and he was like, man, these cars are bad. I'm like, bad, man, they all look alike. He's like, do you think you could do better? I'm like, hell yeah. Man, I created a Tupac 350Z, man. That 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 opened up my business. King Custom Design. Uh, I, I made so much money off that car, man. First year in business, I did like almost 200,000. Just designing cars, man. I was a beast, fam. I was a beast. I did one, I did one off designs. What I mean by that? I created a design on the car, and then after the design, we had to retire that car. I did a Tupac um, 350Z, that was my car. It was number one in the world for, for a long time. Uh, we had TVs on the rims. I mean, it just was a bad car, guy. Then we did the, the Biggie Volkswagen. We did, uh, I, I just did Dead Celebrities. We did Left Eye on a Chrysler 300. We did Big Pun on a, uh, uh, not a, uh, damn, what was that car? I think it was a Cadillac. You know? We did nothing but this. Like, we did a Lear on a uh, Volkswagen. Man, we had a ball, man. Made a lot of money, man. 2008 came. Economy went bad. I had to get my business up, man. I did everything like pimp my ride. I had that type of business. And I had one guy that worked with me that did everything. I did all the design, he did everything. Yeah. The name was, um, was it G? D. B, his name was B, Brian. Shout out to Brian, man. This cat was bad, man. This cat was bad, man. I took this brother out of Best Buy, I gave him eighty thousand a year, and this boy was bad, man. This boy was bad. Man. Those were some good days, man. You know how uh, how good money was back in the day, man. I never forget when I went to the store. I gotta tell y'all this story, man, because I changed changed people's lives. Uh, I went in the store. This guy named Brian. He was um, he was putting in radios at, at uh, Best Buy, and um, I walked up to him. I said, "Hey, man, I heard you do good work. How would you like to make eighty thousand a year? Come work for me." Man, he looked at me like, "Man, go to hell." You know, this two thousand and I think this was two thousand and one. Maybe it's 2001, two. No, it was 2004, or five. Yeah, it was 2004. And uh, he didn't believe me. He didn't believe me, man. So I was getting all this work because the the Tupac 350Z that I already designed it was doing so good. I was getting all this work. So I said, Well, look, I tell you what. Come work for me on the weekends, and then you can make your decision. 
Man, can't work for me on the weekend. He never went back to Best Buy. Changed that young man's life, man. For four years, we was a beast. I was in business for four years, and then we went out of business because, you know, 2008, man, the economy just went bam. Nobody was getting their windows tinted. Nobody was doing custom wheels. Nobody was doing anything to their car in 2008. You had people, because, you know, we was losing jobs. We couldn't get no loans. We couldn't get anything in 2008. And, uh, yeah, man, that was a sad day. That was a sad day for King Custom Designs, man. Oh, man, that was some great memories, man. I know it was great for him. He went from making $20 to 80000 man. And it was worth every bit of... Every penny I paid that man was worth it, man. He made $1,500 a week, man. $1,500 a week. For four years, I changed that brother life. And he talking about, when he gonna get some help? I was like, hell, I'm paying you 80000 a year. You ain't getting no help. You know? You used on one car at a time, but it, it would cost you. And the guarantee was, the cars that I did, the guarantee was, you was paying for one design that nobody else had. You know, when I did a Tupac 350Z, everybody started doing Tupac, but they, they, didn't, they didn't do it like I did. I had, a, um, I had an art gallery, Love's Art Gallery, it's called Love's. I forgot where it was at, but they, they did all my paint. But this brother, man, he was good, man. I painted the hood of my car. The brother was outstanding. But that's enough talk about that. Let's talk about DoorDash. Man. All right, guys, ain't too much going on in DoorDash world. Uh, what you call it? Doing me bad right now. Uh, what is it? Uh, Postmate. Postmate ain't doing me good, man. They changed the rates, the pay rate in Tampa. You you literally can get um, literally can get um, an order, and you can go three miles, and you only get three dollars or something like that. It's not worth me doing. Not talking bad about them. It's just it's not worth me doing Postmate. If they don't tip, you get three dollars or something. No matter how far you go. It used to be the four dollar guarantee plus tips. But then they done cut that up. And yeah, fam, it was good reminiscing. You know? That's why I love um throwback wins guys that was a great throwback man I'm sorry that I named a lot of y'all favorites but the response I got back from that man I love it man I love it living color was that show man I mean it was just that show Nate's Wednesday, we're going to talk about Mark. We're going to talk about Mark. We got to remember these shows, man, that, that touch our lives over the years. Can't let them die, man. And some some shows run so long that they get corny because they run out of ideas, and that will happen. That happened to any show that stay on for a long time. Some of the stories, you know. With shows like that, you got to get you some good writers, and you got to you know you got to use the new writers, the old writers. 
so you can get a balance. System does not recognize Cause this I didn't command. say anything, Please help them. your command. It's either my GPS or my computer on my truck. And we fight all the time. All right, we haven't got an order yet. I am going outside of my zone. I try to change my time so I can go pick up my wife. But don't ask, once you pick your time, before you can adjust, hold on for a minute, baby. Hold on for one minute. I'm back, fam. Oh, man. Oh, wait. I didn't make a U-turn. Got to get my white keys. I got to lock the door. My daughter's door. Oh! Maybe I get an order. Oh, just got an order. Hot damn. I'm glad I made a U turn. <laughs> Where we going? Fish on the hook. Well, oh, I get excited. Oh, $10? Oh, man, we're going to the Walmart on Hills, bro. Alright, we're going to Walmart. We got a $10 order. Wipe the keys real quick. We gotta do this order. I think it's fifty something, right? Much time, even if I was home, 58 items. All right, it is what it is. Day family, out of all days, you got one day of the week. One day of the week, if you could, please find somebody to forgive or find somebody to ask them, or find something to ask somebody to forgive you for on this wonderful forgiveness project. I'm going to forgive my wife for not telling me that I need to get the, uh, bring her keys because her keys lock my daughter's door. I'm gonna forgive her for that because now I gotta go back, burn my gas, and get the key. I wasn't thinking, so I can't be mad. You know what I mean? I could be mad, but I ain't mad. Halfway there too, fam. But think about it. If I want to turn around, I want to got this ten dollar order. So I'm happy. Do that truck loud. Mm. Alright fam, I'm gonna put y'all I'm gonna put y'all on pause for a second so I can get this order. I'll see you in a minute. Alright family, I'm back. Just get to the spot. Alright, we're gonna get this Walmart order. Thank God. Ah, get in here. Only got one person ahead of me. 
Please keep going straight. Don't turn. Don't turn. Don't turn. Don't turn. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Jeez. Let's see who we got. Hope we don't have to go that far. Let's see. Jasmine. How you doing? I wish I could. I got Jasmine. You picking up for Door Jasmine dance. gear? Yes. Like them shoes. Thank you. <laughs> I got to make room, family. I got nice joints. Of course, my wife had those pair already. All right, fam, I'm going to put y'all on pause till I get all this groceries in here. I think we got like 57 pieces. I hope it's cat food and dog food. No water. Cross all your fingers, guys. You got to learn how to cross all your fingers. Uh, cross all your fingers. Hope we don't have no water. See you in a minute. I'm back, fam. This woman got a microwave and a toaster. Big old microwave in the back, guys. Unbelievable, man. They said that she didn't answer her door yesterday. This is a reorder. So let's see if she answered the door today. Sixteen oh one. All right. This is the first time I got a microwave. Unbelievable. She said she ain't playing. She getting her microwave by DoorDash. All right, she only right up the street. All, right. All set, let's go. Let's make it happen, family. I know I'm pulling off with no seatbelt. That's become my signature trademark. All right, let's get this money. This either can go real good or real bad. Turn left on North 19th Street. I seen this big old boss. I said, what is that? She said, oh, she got a microwave. <laughs> microwave and a toaster. She spent some money today. Yeah. I don't mind. It's my job, man. As long as she don't live on the fifth floor, the fifth floor, we are all right. In a quarter of a mile, turn right on East Canna Avenue. Well, I got some groceries in here. I gotta be careful how I drive. I don't complain much. I, I'd rather carry a microwave than have like three or four. Feet. Turn right. Three or four um, waters. You know what I mean? But I can promise you this. I'm going to get out of this neighborhood as quick as I can. Because you get stuck in this neighborhood, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You be doing Walmart orders. And it's, it's not bad. It's just that uh, what you got to go through. And this is payday. A lot of people get that water, see? <laughs> you know, we got ladies that do, that do uh, Walmart, and that's all they complain about. I got one girl, she said, they got one or two, if they got two or three waters, she just declined it. I'm like, wow. You gotta prepare yourself for this, man. If you know Walmart orders are bad, just don't take them. I'm gonna take them. It's quick money for me. I complain, but I'm gonna do the job. I mean, if I get six, seven water, I'm gonna do the job. I just hope their husband home be like that one that told me. He's like, guys, this is this is no joke. 
I had um, I got a Walmart down um, South Tampa, and it was in this building, and they lived on like I forgot what floor it was, but anyway, I had to take all the bags and put them in the elevator. So he came down to show me, gave me his car so I can get in. I'm grabbing bags. I said, "Well, since you're down here, can you help me out?" He's like, "No, I'm on uh, I'm on workers' comp." I'm like, "Workers' comp." I'm like, "You home, right?" Like yeah, you don't know. You never know where they're gonna be at. You know. I was like, wow, player. But look, I set all the bags by his door. He grabbed the bags, took them in the house, but he couldn't help me take them from A to B. But I couldn't be mad. He gave me his dog stroller. Said you could use this. I was like, really, player? I used it too, guys. I load that funky dog um, thing up. I was saying to myself, you really want me to put your stuff in here? Yeah. But people look at it like this. They paid for the service. They paid for the food. It's your job to bring it there. And you got something that'll help you. I don't turn down no help. I ain't scared to ask for help either. I'm like, you got a strong boyfriend or a kid in there that can help me out? <laughs> I said that to one woman. She said, you can give them a tip. I show him, I'm going to give him a tip through life. She said, you can give him a tip. He can help you. I'm going to give him a tip. Guys, tips ain't always money. A tip is a tip. tell somebody don't walk on glass watch where you step at that's a tip you know those are the type of tips I get I remember I made my nephew cry one day the one that got killed CJ he's like Uncle Allen can I help you I said yeah you can help me I'm gonna give you a tip I, I told him he, he thought I was talking about money and he said, where's my tip at, Uncle Alan? I said, all right, I need you to uh, treat your teacher with respect so you can get some A's. He's like, no, I'm talking about my money tip. I'm like, no, that was your tip. Get, get all A's in school, I'll give you a tip. He's like, you know I can't do that. Started crying on me. I gave him a couple dollars, though. I was trying to be funny, but that, he, wasn't, he wasn't laughing at that. That was a painful joke. <laughs> Kids don't know money like that. You can buy a kid, you can, you can give a kid diamond earrings, right, as a kid. And you say, baby, these are worth $50. And I can go up to that kid and say, I'll give you a dollar for them earrings. Guess what? A kid can give you them earrings. Back in the day, not now, they probably cut you now. Back in the day, they liked that dollar. Now they'll cut you. Kid tell you, you don't get the hell out of my face. This is so way out my zone. I hope this woman home, man. home and the sad thing about it guys you can't keep none of the Walmart stuff you gotta take that back that's the sad thing about it Walmart got strict policies <laughs> alright fam I gotta deliver this order man I got a Walmart order with a big old microwave a big old toaster I got 57 pieces, so I'm going to unload this real quick. But my time is out, man. So don't forget Saturday Podcast. We're going to be talking about the 1986 Luther Vandross and Anita Baker album. Who do you think had the best album? If you want to go ahead and listen to it, you can. If not, you can wait till Saturday night and listen to it with me. Of course, it's going to get copyrighted, but I don't give a damn, you know? I'm talking about this. I've been debating this 
for 30 something years with a buddy of mine. He always bring it up. And I always tell him, I need, I need to kill Luther that year. All right, family, I got to go, man. I got to go get this money. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace, family. Y'all pray that I make it okay with this daggone microwave. All right, love you. Peace.